Good morning, guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today hasn't been too bad for me. I kind of slept in a little bit because lately I've been just really tired in the mornings. So it's kind of about 8 o'clock right now, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, I think what we're going to be doing is trying to finish an extra dragon from my Etsy shop. And then if we have extra time, I have got a few other projects we can work on. But yeah, this is what I've got laid out. Um, you probably remember these little pieces from, I think it was last week's vlog. And I want to put him together, or at least try to get him as close to being done as possible. And then I have the antlers, so if we have time, I want to decorate those. I pretty much have the deer ready, and the antlers are going to be like the last thing we put on it. And then I have all the fabric cut out for another project that I'm really excited for. This one is going to be an allosaur, but I'm going to have it opalescent kind of themed. And so normally when I use um, these scale fabrics, I just use them as like accent fabrics. I don't make the entire body out of it, but I'm going to try and basically make almost the entire body out of it with this piece and see how it looks. Because I figured it would look really cool to have the whole body like this. But that we probably won't start on for a while because I need to get the deer done, this done, and a couple other things done too. So I think the first thing that we're going to do today is get my sewing machine down and start working on the sewing for the dragon that would be easier if I use the sewing machine. Then we'll just have the hand sewing left. So I need to get this stuff out of the way. I'm like always, it's so dusty up here, but I don't want to get that in my coffee, so I'm not going to brush it off. I'll show you guys the pattern real quick for our dragon. I'm actually going to have it more of a wyvern style, so it's not going to have front limbs. It's going to have just the wings and the tail and then the back legs. Oh, here's a piece for that. Kind of like that. I know we have these, but I'm thinking that these can be on the actual wings. So they're gonna go kind of like like up there. So I think that'll look good. Anyways, let's get everything pinned together and so So I think the painters are going to probably leave us alone today because they're really not working on our building right now. At least I'm hoping they will. I know there's still some work that they need to do. But they seem to be focusing a lot on the other buildings, so we might be good and not have any noisy ladders or anything like that. So yeah, I'm really hoping that will be the case, we don't have to deal with that. Let's see, I'm trying to remember how I put this together. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to pin these together, I think I'm just going to sew them. Okay. Everything else probably will though. I honestly don't think I have much to really update you guys about. Nothing new has really been going on. Um, oh, I did get a tablet, so I've been slowly learning how to use that and draw with it. And I've done a few little sketches here and there, which um, it is definitely different than working with normal mediums, for sure. But yeah, I actually really like it. It's actually pretty fun to draw digitally. I think my biggest problem is I'm afraid I'm gonna get comfortable with maybe using only three brushes and never dive into the other one. So I've been trying to force myself into trying different types of brushes on it, um, which has been kind of difficult to do. I can't remember exactly what tablet I got, but it is like a newer Samsung tablet, which um, the apps on it work just fine. The only bad side is I can't use Procreate because I, uh, have to have like an iPad for that. I didn't know that, but that's not too big of a deal because those are ones that you have to purchase and I've just been using the free ones to try and figure out how to use it, so. Yeah, if I get really good at it, I'll invest in like a whole system and stuff, but right now it's just kind of trying to get um, just little things out there to uh, add to the channel, uh, add to art, just, yeah, just for fun. Something different to try. I can definitely tell I'm tired because I keep stumbling over my words. Oh, this will have to be hand sewn and then we can use the machine to sew these on. Okay, so we'll kind of jump back and forth between hand sewing and um, using this sewing machine. So 
So apparently I was tired when I cut all my fabric out for this dragon because uh, I didn't make it to where this could be flipped or cut the same way. So I need to recut one of these, which I think I'm out of this fabric, so I'm going to have to do it with this one. So let's get that done real quick, I guess, and then I can sew the tail. <laughs> So I guess I was wrong about them not being in our building today because it sounds like they're in the hallways with a metal cutter to deal with the railing. <laughs> I don't think we should hear too much of it until they get next to our front door. So yeah, I'm not sure what they're cutting. I know they had someone come and like scrape old paint off of them and um, paint over them with the, what is it, it's basically paint that's supposed to keep things from rusting. So like, they're all patchy, covered in that. And I figured they'd just come and paint them, but maybe something is too rusted and they're cutting it out, I don't know. <sighs> I'm just ready for them to leave. Again, I like the color, like, everything looks really nice and I'm glad that they kind of like, they kind of did the apartments in a weird way, but it benefited me. <laughs> is um, They started painting our building, which is like technically building one, and then like they almost finished it and started moving on to painting like multiple all at once. And they're doing like four different colors. So like to paint our building, they're like switching out the paint in between doing it and stuff. And it would have made so much more sense to grab one color, do like four five buildings at once, grab another color, do those five buildings, you get what I mean? It would have been so much easier, but with our building, they decided to just hop back and forth between the colors, and it took, they, they took like three or four days just on some of the things, and they're still on our building, but because they did that, we shouldn't have to deal with them as long as them painting like multiple buildings, so. And then they kind of irritated me because they broke one of the little pot catcher things. You know how you put like a pot on like a disc so that it doesn't leak water everywhere? They broke one of those, moving all my pots around so that they could paint on the balcony. I'm like, really? I've moved my pots around plenty and not like super like gently. And I don't know how they managed to break the thing. And I almost cut myself because I didn't know it was broken when I went to move the pots all back. And it would have really hurt if I had done that because I'm not just using a normal like pot catcher thing. I ran out and um, I'm using basically a, I think it's like a pie plate. So when you cook pies, it's basically tempered glass to go in the oven. So when that stuff breaks, it's really sharp. Okay, I'm done ranting. <laughs> I'm also done with the tail, so we're gonna start back up on the wings. I really think I wanna finish the wings today if I can't finish the whole dragon. So they are currently cutting the railings by our front door, so it is really loud in here. Somebody's upset, and it's really hard to film, huh, puppers? Oh, I do need to check on one thing, hold on. I keep forgetting about this, but we found this last night. Oh, it's really dark, give me one second. And so because of the construction, all the painting and stuff going on, we are getting ants and they're trying to sneak in this little tiny crack behind my mirror. So, so far they haven't come back because I found out I had lavender and I just washed everything with it. And there's a tiny, I don't know if you can see it, there's a tiny little q-tip head basically right there. It really does not want to focus. But there's a tiny little q-tip head right there pretty much soaked in lavender, and I think that's where they're coming from, and so far I think the smell is keeping them away. <laughs> but I'm trying to remember to keep checking so we don't get ants in the bathroom. So yeah, since it's kind of noisy, I think I'm gonna find something to eat. Give Axel some attention so he can quit stressing because he hates the loud noises. And then we'll start back up on our projects. Yeah, you go, boy. Oh, it's so loud. So I'm kind of low on groceries, but I got lucky and we had some frozen, pretty much fries and a little bit of fish. So I made some fish and chips. So I'm going to eat that real quick and then get back to work. Okay, so I finally got the wings sewn. So they're all put together and we're going to flip them out and see what they look like. Hopefully they look like how I expect them to look. Might be a little bit hard with the um, felt being kind of starchy. 
Yeah, right now it's kind of quiet again. Um, I think they're done in the hallway, maybe. <laughs> but it sounds like the rails, like right by my door, they're removing and gonna replace. So they'll probably start up again, um, which is not surprising because they're extremely rusted. They've been rusted and repainted a few times. So uh, since they're doing all this work, I'm assuming I'm hoping they're just replacing it because like sanding it back down and then like painting it again and again it's not gonna be really that safe <laughs> so I'll find out whenever we go back out so yeah I was debating with this one if I should add a wire frame to it and I'm kind of aiming towards no wire frame just to have it something cute and loose and because it's not really like a tutorial project um, I haven't done just a little plush doll in a while, so I figured I'd give it a try. Also, I can get it done quicker. Even though we're adding all these details, like the wings and stuff. That would be the under part, and then the back of the wing. So what I'm thinking I'll have to do is probably take the sewing machine and go along these lines so that it's not so puffy, so it'll actually stay flat. And then I might have to hand sew to separate the like arm portion of the wing so that I can stuff that and not stuff the rest of the wing. And then I can add our little clay foot thing like right here. So it'll look like that. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other one flipped out. I might do the rest of the sewing for this. I don't think I'll assemble everything just yet because I do want to start working on the antlers. Okay, so I lied. I finished the wings. I couldn't help myself, so. Here are what they look like. Oh, here. Let me show you one at a time. But here it is. I stuffed it. It's still open until we add it to the body, but I think it looks good. It'll kind of like be like that. It looks a little awkward, but I mean, I've seen dragons with their like hand portions of their wings kind of like that, so I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Once we put it together, it'll look a lot better. But yeah, I like the underside. It looks pretty good with the whole different colors. Just adds a little bit extra detail to it. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the antlers because I wanna get something else done. We might start back up on the dragon later, um, but I do have one other project we can do after the antlers so that we don't have to stay on just one project. So pretty much I told you guys in last week's vlog that I wasn't going to make it into a dream catcher, but one of you guys pointed out that I could do witches ladders and they're kind of similar to uh, dream catchers, but more appropriate for me to do. So they also seem simpler, so I won't have as much trouble making them. But I'm gonna try and do that. I've connected a string and I've got some random beads and then I even found these here. But yeah, I found these in my little bead collection thing and I think they'll work. I know we're doing a lavender deer, but pink will look just fine with it. And then for the like beads that are gonna be um, on the string, I've got these little shell pieces right there. And I figured these look okay. I don't have any feathers or like, like branches or anything more witchy that would um, work. So I figured those would be close and they're the colors that will work well with our deer. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it works. I think I can just braid it. It seems like you can do different knots because I've seen it done different ways looking at images and stuff like that. Don't know if I'm gonna do it correctly, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Um, at worst case, I think you could do like the knot for friendship bracelets. I think that was one I saw someone do, but yeah, it may not be accurate, but it'll still look cool. Okay guys, what do you think? I think it looks okay. I added some chains just because I wanted it to be a little bit fuller, but I didn't want it to be thread. And I figured that would look okay. The little strands are kind of bugging me, but I'm really not sure what else to do. Maybe add some glue so I can cut it shorter. But I think it also makes it look a little bit more like whimsical having the threads. So uh, I might sit on it, debate on if I want to add anything to it, change it. But I mean, it's better than an empty circle. Okay guys, I think we have enough time for one more project and this one's going to be more of a personal project. I have been kind of slowly sanding a box to put my oil paints in and I finished sanding the lid. I'm not going to do the inside because no one cares about the inside. But I finished sanding the outside of the lid and I want to do something 
here, but I want to do it with resin. So I think I'm going to use some of my mica powders and try and make some kind of like swirly fun thing for here. I'm going to get my resin. We'll mix that up. And then these are the colors I think I'm going to go with. Do that. I think I'm going to go with like a turquoise, a gold, and then this one is kind of like a pearlescent, but it is called a uh, bubblegum glow. So yeah, I'm going to use these and just mess around and do something fun. I also have some glitter and things I can throw in too. If you guys hear a loud humming, there's a cherry picker basically right here. They're trying to paint the highest part of the building that they couldn't reach with the ladders. So you got that going on right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to start possibly with the turquoise. I'm just going to yeah, drizzle it. Add some spots here. Connect it. I don't know. I'm just going to do something random. See how it goes. Gold. Bubblegum. We may have to mix up a little bit more. Let's see what happens if we get it to all run together. Kind of like a, what is it, uh, like drip painting or something? It's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to fill all the gaps and then we can move the color around a little bit more if we want. Okay, I kind of like it. It looks cool, like candy. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to exhale on it and the carbon monoxide will cause the bubbles to rise and pop. So, doing that will help clear out the surface. Luckily, it's thin enough where this will actually work. If you're doing thicker, you might not be able to get all the bubbles out doing this. <laughs> Should I use the brush and move it around? I feel like if I did that, I'll make it look too, like, purposeful. So... Okay, I messed with it a little bit because more resin kind of pulled up at the bottom of these, so I tried pouring some more in. So kind of have little dots. I'm not sure if I like it or if I ruined it. I mean, it's pretty. I think it looked look cool. I really don't want to keep messing with it because I know if I keep messing with it, I'll ruin it and I won't like it. So. Last time I'm touching it. Anyways guys, I'm gonna clean up my mess, get everything all situated, and then probably call it good for the day. It's been quite a long day, and I have a feeling like it's quiet now, but I feel like we're gonna get more noise again, and I don't wanna deal with it anymore. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.